In this video I will do a memory expansion and it's basically divided into three different sessions. The first one is word length, the second one will be word capacity and the third one will be a combination of word length and word capacity. In this specific videos I will basically join different RAMs together, RAM devices together or maybe ROM devices together to form bigger um, word lengths, word capacity or a combination of the two. In this first video I am going to do a word length expansion and what this means is that the number of bits on the data bus must be increased. Uh, for instance there's an example here I've got a device which is on the output has 8 bits and I want to go to a final device which is 16 bits or maybe going from 8 bits to a new device has got 32 bits so that is what word length means I want to join a RAM or ROM together or oh sorry I want to rather to join only RAMs or only ROMs to give more output uh, widths with data bits on the data bus okay let's look at what what this word length expansion means so in this specific instance I've got a, a 65536 which is in actual fact a 64k ROM by 4 meaning 4 is the width of the data the register on the data bus uh, that's what you'll get 4 bits so to get to a 64k that is 16 bits that's the address bus and the control bus so this specific 64k by 4 ROM has got also this control bus which is actually a read pin and also the chip select pin so I've got this one sitting here 4 bits out and I've got another one sitting here another 4 bits out so and the whole purpose is to combine these two to eventually give me a 64k by 8 so I'm expanding the word length or basically the register length or the data bus length that's what I'm going to expand so how we do that is we're going to connect this ROM 1 to ROM number 2 you will see I'll, I'll use the 4 bits out from the one, ROM 1 and the 4 bits out from ROM 2 to form this 8 bits and it's, it's still 4 and 4 but 8 in total and we will com combine basically the address bus the 16 bits going to ROM 1 and in parallel connect them also to ROM number 2 so if I put a certain address here it will also it will activate a specific register inside this ROM and it will also activate a similar register inside this ROM and the same with the control bus as you can see the control bus is also connected in parallel from ROM 1 to ROM number 2 so if I activate a chip a chip line for ROM 1 I will also activate the chip line of ROM 2 and if I want to read it will both of them will read and this is how we will eventually I'm going to explain it on the next slide how we get to a 64k by 8 and again people how do I get 64 uh, 1k is equal to 1024 registers in memory so 64k is actually 64 times 1024 that gives us this 65536 but let's go to the next slide and see how we can do something like this Now on this slide I'm going to show you how to do a word length expansion and we're going to make use of 2k by 8 memory devices and I want to expand it to a 2k by 16 so as you can see we go from 8 a data bus sitting with 8 output lines to a data bus sitting with 16 output lines and in this case I'm going to make use of a RAM device uh, from the start I just want to preview the previous slide showed a ROM and this slide I'm going to make use of a RAM and basically the rest of the slides I'll also make use of a RAM so I just want to mention right from the start that if you will make use of a RAM you will have a right line uh, and this right line will be connected to the right line of the next one in the previous slide I showed you that the control bus will also be in parallel so the right lines will be connected together all the right lines 
and all your read lines will be connected together. That's if we make use of RAM devices. If you make use, if I say make use of a ROM device, it will be exactly the same. I'll still have the, the read line here, but the only difference is there will be no write line. So just make sure about that. The rest will be exactly the same. So any RAM device will have read and write. ROM device will only have a read pin. But let's look at the, the memory size here. First of all, what we need to determine is uh, how many address lines do we need? This specific, all I've got to use is 2K by 8. That's all I have. So a 2K by 8, let's see how many address lines is needed for a 2K. So 2 to the power N is basically your memory size, where N is the number of address lines. So uh, a 2K is actually 2 to the power 11, which means there needs to be 11 address lines. So these address lines will go from A0 to A10. And this is why I'm going to connect this RAM from A0 up to A10. And this is the way I, I would like you guys to draw this also. Just put the minimum address pin and also the maximum address pin. And just show, this, this shows you that the rest will also be connected. So I'm going to connect this one, the first one, this RAM, and the data bus going out, well, there's a data bus going out from this specific RAM and there's a data bus going out of this specific RAM. So I've got eight lines coming out of this RAM and I've got eight lines here coming out of this RAM. So it doesn't really matter how you number this. It could have been this one starting at D0 and the top one, the D15. But in this case, I, I showed you from D0 to D7, that's my eight data lines, which is connected uh, to this RAM on the right hand side and another eight lines starting from D8 to D15 which is connected to the left hand side RAM. Um, then also as I've said previously you can see now in other words that these, this address bus is parallel to both of these in parallel connected to both of these RAM devices. So whatever address is placed on here uh, is also placed on here which means the same the same address will be activated in each one of them. So if let's say it's the first address, that data will be placed, the data in the first address will be placed on this data bus, which is 8 bits, and the first address will also be activated in this one, which will be placed on this data bus. So in total I've got 8 plus 8, that forms a 16. And as you can see here, uh, this control, this is one of the control uh, control pins on the control bus which is the chip select line and as I've said here you can either connect this to ground or a control pin especially if you go to a microcontroller depending on your application you can either connect it to ground or you can connect it to a control pin but uh, again if you connect it to ground these two function together if you connect it to a control pin and you pull this control pin low this left hand side RAM and the right hand side RAM will act together in any case. So this is basically the setup and from here we can actually design any required uh, word length expansion. Let's look at the next slide and see there's another one which I'm going to explain to you. Now this question here says do a word length expansion by making use of 4k by 4 and you must expand it to a 4k by 16 so immediately I can see but this specific 4K by 4 device uh, is only getting out 4 data bits. So in order for me to get to 16 data bits, that means I'll make use of 4 of these 4K by 4. Now, uh, people generally, well not generally, you will not get uh, a 4 by 4. So this is just a theoretical question. Um, so don't be surprised in an exam or a test if you get something like a by 6 or a by 14 or whatever so this is just a theoretical you will normally get it by 8 but um, let's look at the theoretical expansion uh, by making use of these RAM devices and I've, as I've said previously because it's RAM devices you'll connect all your read lines together and you'll connect all your write lines together um, and if it was a ROM device the write line sorry the read uh, sorry the write line would not be would not be here 
but the read line will be there. So in parallel, the, all my read lines are connected together. And if I look at my chip selects, again, I've said in uh, two, two slides previously that your chip selects must be connected together. So this chip select and that one and that one and that one all connects to ground. So basically all of them are active uh, simultaneously. Even if I connected this to a control pin, as soon as it goes low, all will work together. All of these devices start working together. So, but let's look at this. This is a 4K device. So let's first of all now see at this 4K device, how should I connect this to which address line? So first of all, going back again to 2 to the power N, where N is the number of address lines. 4K is an actual fact 2 to the power 12, which means I need 12 address lines. And because address line starts at A0, you will have to go to A11. That gives you 12 address lines. I've just said here again, uh, 4K means actually 4 times 1024. That's the exact number of uh, registers that you'll find in this specific memory. So um, on the right hand side here, you can see that I've connected it from A0 to A11. Uh, and all of these devices are connected to the same address bus in parallel as we saw previously. Then what we will do is this four data lines out is going to four is going to be connected from D0 to D3 and the four data lines going out of this RAM device is going to connect from D4 to D7. This one is connecting from D8 to D11 and this one is connecting from D12 to D15. Each data bus, in other words, four lines or four bits, and in total it forms 16 output lines, or a data bus in total of 16 bits. That is why we can get a by 16. So if I, for instance, just again select let's say all zeros here on the address bus, it will select the first position in each and every one of these RAM devices. And because the chip selects are connected to ground, all the devices are active. So the four bits sitting si inside the uh, address, uh, let's say 000, zero, zero uh, will be placed on this data bus. The first one here on this RAM device will be placed on this data bus and the same the first address content will be placed on this data bus and the contents of the first address will be placed on that data bus so with a specific address and if they, my read line is low for instance the first address data will be all the data bits will be placed on each and every address bus giving you 16 bits out and this is how a word length has been expanded in this case also This is then the end of the first video, which is the word length expansion.